Hello guys, this is JT Gravity RC. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, um, in the last couple of days I have been making videos about how to connect different types of transmitters to play with um, FPV Freerider and um, this is what I'm going to show you today is I want to show you that we can also connect the Spectrum DX6i or DX6 to PC to play FPV Freerider. So with the uh, Spectrum DX6i, there's no USB port, but what you have is the trainer port here that you can connect an audio cable to here and also to the mic input on the PC. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, first of all, you need to download the Smart Smart Propo Plus, and um, you, then you have to um, adjust the uh, the volume of the under the sound settings. So what you do is you click this Windows and just put in search for sound card. Uh, let me try again. Okay, hang on. Sometimes it doesn't show up. Yes, you have to choose this sound control panel. Click on that. And then you get, need to go to recording and the microphone. So double click on that. And you go to levels. Under label, you need to adjust the um, the volume. It can be around 90 something to 48, depending on um, whether you get a solid connection for your uh, transmitter. So, with you need this audio cable. I think it's 3.5 millimeter audio cable. It can be stereo or uh, mono. So, what you do is, if you can see the uh, trainer port at, at the back of the um, uh, DX6 side you just connect that and I believe the DX6 has an audio uh, port that you can connect to then the other end of this you need to connect to your mic input here So once you connect, you need to switch it on. If you see here, it says transmitter disconnected. Um, but this is moving is because um, there's a mic here. So what I'm saying now is being transmitted into the microphone port. So I need to just turn on the transmitter. Okay. See, I've just I turn on the transmitter. I've got the uh, two hundred QX uh, model in here. Uh, I think it should work. If if it doesn't work, you just have to um, create a new model. You don't have you don't even have to do any settings to the uh, new model that you created because you can use the stock model that's provided under the Spectrum DX6i. Um, this is the last of my transmitter so I don't have any other transmitter that I can use anymore to show you that you can connect different types of transmitter. So what I'm going to say now is as long as you have a transmitter that has either a USB or audio port you can connect to your PC to play. But in terms of if it only has an audio port, you need to use the Smart Proper Plus. So just connect here and I'll show you how to do it. So if, if you look at this um, audio slider, the microphone slider, at the moment it's at 48, you can see that the uh, channels are responding. So, which means that it's working properly. But when you first 
connect to your PC, this microphone level is pretty high. It's around uh, the maximum. So if it's around the maximum, you, it, it doesn't work because it doesn't have a solid connection. So what you need to do, you need to turn down the volume until it gets a solid connection. It has to be about 90 and or less. So you can see now, this is solid connection. So it should work. So basically, what happens now is that your transmitter is connected and it's been, it has been recognized by your PC to work with a simulator. So now we just need to open up the FPV Freerider. So once you get into FPV Freerider, you need to calibrate the controller, which is here. So you just click on that. And you need to center the sticks before you click OK. Now you click OK. Hang on. Went too fast. I need to do it again. So calibrate. Center your sticks. Click OK. So move the uh, your to the left. You see this one move. So click OK. So your is uh, recognized. So click up. So throttle is now recognized. And with the raw left, click. Hang on. I need to do it again. Um, so I think you basically know what I'm doing so I need to do it a bit quicker so that I don't touch anything hmm. ok now it's all done so what you need to do, you need to make sure that the uh, the circles are in the middle. So if it's not in the middle, what you need to do is just move the uh, trim slider across here. Go up. Uh, this one, just a slight adjustment. So let's test this out. Let's change the camera angle to line of sight.
so you can see that it works so I'm gonna crash this and guys so that's it for this video so please like and subscribe to my channel until next time this is JT Gravity RC signing out